Corey Fields, and I am, as I said, your number one candidate for sheriff of Prince William County. I am a city councilman with the town of Dumfries at this time. I got elected to that position in 2016. A little over 30 years ago, I initially signed up for the Virginia Army National Guard, and I'm still serving. I served the role of staff sergeant there, and that brings leadership. A little while, a little while after that, I was a dispatcher in Dinwiddie County, Virginia. I went on from there to be a deputy in Petersburg, Virginia, and years later, a campus police officer at Virginia State University. At Virginia State University, I was taught how to be a community police officer. There are four major entities that we dealt with there at Virginia State University as a campus police officer. Number one, we have the student, the faculty, the staff, and most of all, the community. Even though the campus is a community, what happens when the kids go outside of campus? They call us. We have to go and work with the community. We work with the local jurisdiction all around, which that area is um, down in Petersburg, Virginia. So we work along with Petersburg City and Chesterfield County. I took that experience and came to the town of Dumfries, where I was a police officer for eight years. And as Amy mentioned, I ran across it a few times in the courthouse. <laughs> that shows experience in working with the county sheriff's office, working with the county police department, and working with the Commonwealth Attorney's Office. I've had cases that go to grand jury there that I've worked. I've taken that wonderful experience and now I work at the Department of Justice as a U.S. Special Deputy Marshal. And I still interact with government officials, government employees, and the general public. With holding all these positions, I believe I have the most experience to be a sheriff of Prince William County. As a town councilman, I not only work with the town of Dumfries, I work with the elected officials in this county, their delegates, their congressmen, their senators, and the Commonwealth Attorney. We all have to talk, we all have to get things done all across the county. I'm not just stuck on the east end, I love it over here in the west end as well. I've come to visit in the West End. I've come to share with you a couple of times in the West End. You've seen my face. You know who I am. If you don't know, I bet you know after the night, right? <laughs> also, my time in the Virginia Army National Guard is leadership. <coughs> I spent time as a uh, MP, a maintenance officer, and one more the truck driver. And I also teach anti-terrorism. I teach that, I've taught that to many soldiers and civilians about their class in the town of Dumfries. And it teaches awareness. And that gets me out there and your face and your face and whoever's face that I'm, I'm about to train. Again, it's leadership. Again, I will bring these attributes and all my training to the sheriff's office. The problems we have in Prince William County right now, the number one big fact is 287G, Bill Referendum or what have you. We do not need it. It tears apart families. As you see here on my poster, I know what it's like. This tells my history right here, being a police officer, going down to the border before Trump went down here. I know what I'm talking about. El Paso, I've been there. My wife from Honduras, I know what it's like because I stood with my wife in the back of the line to get proper documentation here in the United States. We're raising a 15-year-old child that came through that pipeline a few years ago. And when he looks at television, he says, I've been in those detention facilities. I've been there. Those blankets are nothing. They're like aluminum foil. So if you want someone that knows the struggle, knows what it's like to be with family, and also the experience on the street, when I pull over people and they happen to not have all the proper documentation to the that they need. I am the one between them and getting deported back to their country. I have the discretion, and I've had the discretion, either to put handcuffs on and take them away, or use my discretion and educate. Use my discretion and, hey, let me tell you what you got to do, sir. Let me tell you what you have to do, ma'am. And not take them away from their families. 
I've been there. I've seen it. Back in 2007, it's when 287G visited Prince William County. Back then, before I went on deployment, the town of Dumfries and the surrounding area was full of Latino and Hispanic population. When I came back to go back on patrol, I was handed a list of vacant homes where people used to live, where families just vacated and went to the next county, south, north, or even west, or even up in Alexandria. I've seen it, I know what it's like. Our homeless problem that we have here in the county, it's not about kicking them out, it's about helping them. It's about being there for them, because they need protection too. They need a way out as well. They need someone to listen to them, to know what it's like, or to just give them a friendly smile, a friendly hug, or just something nice and warm to eat, a nice blanket or something like that. We also in this county have a gang problem. Now I know a lot of that may come from the effects or the effects of the 287G. But I guarantee you as sheriff, I will have a deputy, two deputies, maybe even three, to work along with our wonderful police department that we have in this county to handle it, that gang problem. And last but not least, I intend to touch each community, one family at a time. A lot of times we only see the sheriff when there's an eviction, when there's a funeral, or when they're doing security at some event. There are some there are some areas and there are some neighborhoods that see a sheriff too much. There are some that don't see a sheriff at all. We need to be well balanced and well even. So that when someone is getting evicted, the last thing is they're not going to think is that, oh, the sheriff came and put me out. Why not the sheriff came and they offered a helping hand? Why not the sheriff came and they promoted a program or suggested a program that a nonprofit organization or an organization that we start ourselves to help them out with. We can do that. The sheriff has that authority. The sheriff has that power. Yeah, as you go around the county, some people may say, well, who's the sheriff now? Well, I guarantee you, you know who I am. If I'm sheriff, you would definitely know Brian Fields. So again, I say thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for having me come out and talk to you all. And is the question and answer now or later? Um, you have two minutes left, so if you want to ask, if anyone wants to ask any questions. Any questions for me? Silence, that's it. Sure, Brian. <laughs> yes, sir. Joe Passanel, how are you doing, Brian? Yes, sir. How are you? Um, tell us a little about your experience in the county and in law enforcement. Well, again, the town of Dumfries Police. I came here in 2006 as a police officer. And like I said, I not only worked just in the town, also work with the sheriff's office, the police department, the Commonwealth Attorney's Office, <coughs> which is a, a federal grant that comes and then we send an officer to. We had an officer from the town of Dumfries there. There are a lot of times as on patrol, one of these units that are undercover or doing whatever they have to do would call, hey, is there a Dumfries unit? You best believe Ryan was always there. Yes. When they had something special going on in town that Everyone is not supposed to know. I was the one that could be called. Hey, Brian, we got such and such and this and that going on in the town. What do you know about these individuals? What do you know about the suspects? And I can give them that information. Also, being on town council, as I mentioned before, you're still in touch with government officials all around the county. I bet you every delegate in this county knows me. I bet you every senator is representing this county knows me. And our congressman knows me as well. So that's my experience with the county. That's over a decade if you put it together. Work right here in Prince William County. Anyone? You're going to stick around after, right? Yes. Okay. All right. Thank, Thank you so, so much. much.